If you want to improve your English, just listen to this video all the time, even while sleeping. Just keep the video on while you're doing your daily activities. At some point, you'll start to understand English. Before we begin, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Listen carefully. 1. Hook up. Present tense. I hook up with my friends at the cafe every weekend. I don't hook up with my friends at the cafe every weekend. Do you hook up with your friends at the cafe every weekend? Past tense. I hooked up with my old classmates at the reunion. I didn't hook up with my old classmates at the reunion. Did you hook up with your old classmates at the reunion? Future tense. I will hook up with my colleagues after the conference. I won't hook up with my colleagues after the conference. Will you hook up with your colleagues after the conference? Use of modal verbs. I can hook up with my team members for the project discussion. I can't hook up with my team members for the project discussion. Can you hook up with your team members for the project discussion? 2. Call off. Present tense. I'm calling off the outdoor event because it's raining. He is not calling off his workout despite being tired. Are you calling off the appointment with your friend because something urgent came up? Past tense. She called off yesterday's meeting with her friend because she caught a cold. Despite the heavy traffic, he didn't call off his meeting. His flight was delayed. Didn't he call off the meeting? Future tense. I will call off tomorrow's appointment because the weather is too cold. Even though her exam is coming up, she will not call off the trip to Europe. Will you call off the meeting scheduled for this week even if you are too busy? Use of modal verbs. She could call off the picnic if the weather gets worse. You must not call off the date so as not to upset her. Should we call off that event if it rains? 3. Shut down. Present tense. She's shutting down her computer before leaving the office. I'm not shutting down our store early today. Are you shutting down the system for maintenance? Past tense. They shut down the factory for the holidays. He didn't shut down his laptop last night. Did the government shut down the schools due to the snowstorm? Future tense. I will shut down the machines after work. We won't shut down the website for updates tomorrow. Will the city shut down the roads for the parade? Use of modal verbs. You should shut down your computer to save energy. We must not shut down the system during peak hours. Could they shut down the restaurant for a private event? Before beginning our speaking practice, let's learn some new vocabulary, today's keyword, to improve our English skills. Hook up. Hook up is an English phrase that can mean several different things depending on the context. 1. In a technical context, it can mean connecting or assembling something. For example, you might hook up a television to a power source and cable box to make it work. 2. In a social context, hook up can mean to meet up or get together with someone. For example, you might hook up with your friends at the park for a game of basketball. 3. In a romantic or sexual context, hook up can mean to engage in casual sexual activity with someone. For example, after a party, two people might hook up. Hook up is primarily used in two ways. 1. As a phrasal verb when hook up acts as a verb, it refers to the action of connecting or assembling something. For instance, can you hook up the printer for me? 2. As a noun when hook up is used as a noun, it describes the event or situation where the connection or assembly has occurred. For example, they had a hook up last night. Remember, the meaning of hook up can vary greatly depending on its context. It's crucial to consider the conversation's overall content to understand its exact meaning. More detailed explanation. 1. General conversation. Example. We need to hook up the new T to the cable box. 
In this context, hookup means to connect or assemble something. It's about setting up the TV by connecting it to the cable box. 2. Helping out. Example. Can you help me hook up this printer to my laptop? Here, hookup is used to ask for assistance in connecting or setting up a device a printer to another device a laptop. 3. Social activity. Example. I'm planning to hook up with my friends at the mall this weekend. In this scenario, hookup means to meet or get together with someone. It's about making plans to meet friends at a certain location. 4. Technical trouble. Example. I've been trying to hook up my new gaming console all day, but it's not working. Here, hookup refers to the process of connecting or setting up a device. The speaker is having trouble connecting or setting up their new gaming console. 5. Romantic context. Example. They hooked up after meeting at a friend's party. In this context, hookup is used to describe two people engaging in a casual romantic or sexual activity. They met at a party and later engaged in such an activity. Call off. Call off is a phrasal verb in English, which means to cancel something that has been previously arranged or planned. You can use call off when you decide not to proceed with something such as an event, a meeting, or a plan. For example, if there's a meeting scheduled at your office but for some reason, it can't take place, you can say we had to call off the meeting. It means the meeting was cancelled. Another example could be in the context of a wedding. If a couple decides not to get married, you can say they called off the wedding. It means the wedding was cancelled. Call off is usually used as a verb. It's not typically used as a noun or an adjective. More detailed explanation. 1. General conversation. Example. The game was called off due to bad weather. Here, call off means to cancel. The game was canceled because the weather conditions were not suitable. 2. Unexpected circumstances. Example. We had to call off our weekend trip because of the car trouble. In this context, call off is used to indicate the cancellation of a plan due to unforeseen problems. The weekend trip was cancelled because the car broke down or had some issues. 3. Work-related situation. Example. The company decided to call off the meeting as the key speaker was unavailable. Here, call off refers to the cancellation of a planned event. The company meeting was cancelled because the key speaker couldn't attend. 4. Personal plans. Example. I had to call off my dinner plans because I wasn't feeling well. In this scenario, call off indicates the cancellation of personal plans. The individual had to cancel their dinner plans because they were unwell. 5. Sporting event. Example. The referee called off the match due to heavy rain. Here, call off is used to describe the cancellation of a sporting event. The match was cancelled by the referee because of heavy rain. Shut down. Shut down is a phrasal verb in English that generally means to cease operation or close. It can be used in various contexts such as technology, businesses, or even events. 1. In a technical context, you might shut down your computer, meaning you turn it off completely. 2. In a business context, if a shop shuts down, it means it closes, either at the end of the day or permanently. 3. In the context of events or activities, to shut down means to stop or end the event or activity. Shut down is primarily used as a verb. For instance, I need to shut down my computer. However, it can also be used as a noun, especially in a business context. For example, the shutdown of the factory led to many people losing their jobs. Here, shutdown is a noun that refers to the act or process of ceasing operations. Remember, like many English phrases, the exact meaning of shutdown can depend on the context in which it's used. More detailed explanation. 1. General usage. Example. Don't forget to shut down your computer before you leave. 
Here, shut down means to turn off completely. It's a reminder to turn off the computer before leaving. 2. Technical difficulty. Example. My phone keeps shutting down for no reason. In this context, shut down refers to a device turning off, usually unexpectedly or without the user's intention. 3. Business context. Example. The restaurant had to shut down because of the pandemic. Here, shut down refers to a business ceasing operations. In this case, the restaurant had to close because of the pandemic. 4. Public safety. Example. The city shut down the roads due to the parade. In this scenario, shut down means to close or block off. The city closed the roads for the parade for public safety. 5. Event or activity. Example. We had to shut down the party early because of a noise complaint. Here, shut down means to end or stop an event. The party had to be ended early because someone complained about the noise. From now on, I'll read each sentence of today's story. Listen carefully and try to follow along. I hook up with my friends at the cafe every weekend. I hook up with my friends at the cafe every weekend. I don't hook up with my friends at the cafe every weekend. I don't hook up with my friends at the cafe every weekend. Do you hook up with your friends at the cafe every weekend? Do you hook up with your friends at the cafe every weekend? I hooked up with my old classmates at the reunion. I hooked up with my old classmates at the reunion. I didn't hook up with my old classmates at the reunion. I didn't hook up with my old classmates at the reunion. Did you hook up with your old classmates at the reunion? Did you hook up with your old classmates at the reunion? I will hook up with my colleagues after the conference. I will hook up with my colleagues after the conference. I won't hook up with my colleagues after the conference. I won't hook up with my colleagues after the conference. Will you hook up with your colleagues after the conference? Will you hook up with your colleagues after the conference? I can hook up with my team members for the project discussion. I can hook up with my team members for the project discussion. I can't hook up with my team members for the project discussion. I can't hook up with my team members for the project discussion. Can you hook up with your team members for the project discussion? Can you hook up with your team members for the project discussion? I'm calling off the outdoor event because it's raining. I'm calling off the outdoor event because it's raining. He is not calling off his workout despite being tired. He is not calling off his workout despite being tired. Are you calling off the appointment with your friend? Are you calling off the appointment with your friend? Because something urgent came up? Because something urgent came up? She called off yesterday's meeting with her friend because she caught a cold. She called off yesterday's meeting with her friend because she caught a cold. 
Despite the heavy traffic, he didn't call off his meeting. Despite the heavy traffic, he didn't call off his meeting. His flight was delayed, didn't he call off the meeting? His flight was delayed, didn't he call off the meeting? I will call off tomorrow's appointment. I will call off tomorrow's appointment because the weather is too cold. Because the weather is too cold. Even though her exam is coming up. Even though her exam is coming up. She will not call off the trip to Europe. She will not call off the trip to Europe. Will you call off the meeting scheduled for this week even if you are too busy? Will you call off the meeting scheduled for this week even if you are too busy? She could call off the picnic if the weather gets worse. She could call off the picnic if the weather gets worse. You must not call off the date so as not to upset her. You must not call off the date so as not to upset her. Should we call off that event if it rains? Should we call off that event if it rains? She's shutting down her computer before leaving the office. She's shutting down her computer before leaving the office. I'm not shutting down our store early today. I'm not shutting down our store early today. Are you shutting down the system for maintenance? Are you shutting down the system for maintenance? They shut down the factory for the holidays. They shut down the factory for the holidays. He didn't shut down his laptop last night. He didn't shut down his laptop last night. Did the government shut down the schools due to the snowstorm? Did the government shut down the schools due to the snowstorm? I will shut down the machines after work. I will shut down the machines after work. We won't shut down the website for updates tomorrow. We won't shut down the website for updates tomorrow. Will the city shut down the roads for the parade? Will the city shut down the roads for the parade? You should shut down your computer to save energy. You should shut down your computer to save energy. We must not shut down the system during peak hours. We must not shut down the system during peak hours. Could they shut down the restaurant for a private event? Could they shut down the restaurant for a private event? Listen carefully. 1. Hook up. Present tense. I hook up with my friends at the cafe every weekend. I don't hook up with my friends at the cafe every weekend. Do you hook up with your friends at the cafe every weekend? Past tense. I hooked up with my old classmates at the reunion. I didn't hook up with my old classmates at the reunion. Did you hook up with your old classmates at the reunion? Future tense. I will hook up with my colleagues after the conference. I won't hook up with my colleagues after the conference. Will you hook up with your colleagues after the conference? Use of modal verbs. I can hook up with my team members for the project discussion. 
I can't hook up with my team members for the project discussion. Can you hook up with your team members for the project discussion? 2. Call off. Present tense. I'm calling off the outdoor event because it's raining. He is not calling off his workout despite being tired. Are you calling off the appointment with your friend because something urgent came up? Past tense. She called off yesterday's meeting with her friend because she caught a cold. Despite the heavy traffic, he didn't call off his meeting. His flight was delayed, didn't he call off the meeting? Future tense. I will call off tomorrow's appointment because the weather is too cold. Even though her exam is coming up, she will not call off the trip to Europe. Will you call off the meeting scheduled for this week even if you are too busy? Use of modal verbs. She could call off the picnic if the weather gets worse. You must not call off the date so as not to upset her. Should we call off that event if it rains? 3. Shut down. Present tense. She's shutting down her computer before leaving the office. I'm not shutting down our store early today. Are you shutting down the system for maintenance? Past tense. They shut down the factory for the holidays. He didn't shut down his laptop last night. Did the government shut down the schools due to the snowstorm? Future tense. I will shut down the machines after work. We won't shut down the website for updates tomorrow. Will the city shut down the roads for the parade? Use of modal verbs. You should shut down your computer to save energy. We must not shut down the system during peak hours. Could they shut down the restaurant for a private event? Today, I practiced making sentences using five words. Try practicing making sentences yourself regularly. You'll notice your English skills improving day by day. Stay tuned for daily exercises and let's make learning English an awesome experience. See you in the next video.